Hey dudes, what is going on this morning? It's, sorry, neighbor's dog is uh, out here telling me all about it. Because normally, I mean, cute little pup, I go over there and say hi. But not right now, I got I got some important stuff to tell you guys. So, I'm leaving Rolla. I know it's, I've been here for three years and I admittedly, I, Rolla has just never been my spot. It's never been somewhere where I saw myself living permanently. I've basically always tried, kind of tried to get out of Rolla. I know, I know that's uh, probably not the best thing to say, but that's really the truth of the matter. I mean, after my first year here, I was tired of living out here. I mean. Don't get me wrong, I've met, I've met cool people for the three years that I've been out here, but Raleigh's just not for me. I mean, after that first year, I mean, base, the closest grocery store is 16 miles one way. So I drive 32 miles, and don't get me wrong, I mean, I always had to make sure I got everything with me, even when I, we were in Wichita, but I, I definitely had to make sure I got everything with me just so that way I did not forget anything and have to turn around and drive 16 more mi 16 miles back. So 32 mile round trip and it was very inconvenient. And honestly, I love my dad, but that was this is the one time I wish I'd never listened to him because it was really cool. After my first year, there's a place, the, the Matsu Borough up in Alaska, it's northeast of Anchorage. I mean, if you, if you took eastern Kansas and kind of New England and they had a baby, this is that area, and it's really freaking pretty. And they, all, they were like, hey, would you like to come up here and teach? Uh, I was wanting to say yes immediately. Talked to my dad and he's like, you know, I know you're not a big fan of it out there, but give it another year. And so I did. And... I'm kicking myself because, like I said, it's a really pretty area. I would have loved to have gotten up there, but but that's neither here nor there. So, but yeah, I, like I said, I'm moving. I'm actually moving back to Wichita. I'm going to teach eighth grade American history at Brooks Center for the STEM and the Arts Magnet Middle School. I know it's a mouthful, but. Yeah, it's over there by WSU. It's like three miles from WSU. I'm gonna be living near my in some apartments near my grandmother. I this is just a really cool opportunity. I mean, I went and looked around the, the, the school itself. I saw my classroom. It's the the room that I have is smaller than the classroom I have now. It's probably about half the size, but the desks and everything I can arrange them into groups. It's better for communal work the kids working together which I'm, I'm gonna be very happy about that and I mean I only have to teach one class essentially I mean it's just gonna be American his eighth grade American history across the board all day so I'm not gonna have to worry about teaching seventh grade history eighth grade history freshman history junior history and senior government which don't get me wrong those classes are fun but it makes a lot of work what, and I'm not a stranger to doing work, but it's just kind of a lot more stuff I have to plan and, st and all that. And now I can just focus on one thing. And the the print I was walking around with the principal, and he was showing me everything. They've got esports, and all they've got probably 15, 20 esports computers, and the monitors and the towers and everything they're really freaking cool I yeah I was kind of blown away with that and because I'm a music person they have the band room they have a separate band choir and orchestra rooms and, and each one is equipped with soundproof practice rooms so you don't have to worry about disturbing somebody else as they're practicing and you don't have to worry about you being disturbed 
granted, I'm already disturbed. But, yeah, it's really cool. And plus, I mean, as someone who grew up, granted, I played the trumpet, so I wanted squeak notes. I just played loud growing up, which, yeah, it's kind of annoying. But, so the two younger sisters, the oldest one, she played the violin. Would have loved a soundproof practice room with her. And the youngest one played the saxophone. So, for all you woodwind players out there, with the reeds, basically your your reeded instruments. So your woodwind, non-flute type players. Um, she would be squeaking and all that kind of stuff. And the dogs absolutely loved it. Actually, we had one. She would howl with it. It was hilarious, but at the same time, we're like, okay, this needs to stop right now. So, but yeah, I'm. I'm moving to Wichita. I'm getting. I'm leaving here July 23rd. So in just over a month, I am leaving Rolla. And honestly, the people that I've talked to, it's kind of been a mixed reception. I mean, granted, I mean you're in a small town. People are going to be sad that you're leaving. But I've had people literally trying to guilt trip me into staying, which I'm just. That pisses me off. I know you're kind of sad about me leaving, but don't guilt trip me into pursuing something better for myself. I am doing this, yeah, this is, this is for me. This is something that I have to do for me. I, I'm gonna miss the kids and I know they're gonna miss me, some of, some of them, and I get that I'm, some of the parents are gonna miss me and I'm gonna miss some of them, but the same time the people that are trying to guilt trip me into staying that's not cool I mean just I get we're upset but don't be doing that there's no reason for it so now that I've gone on my rant positivity so um, oh so the apartment that I'm getting it's going to be a two bed one bath which is perfect for me because here I mean granted I have a three bed two bath but it's only me and the cat so all I really need is one bathroom and I definitely wanted two beds two bedrooms just so that way I can have my bedroom of course and I can continue having a cat room essentially I mean a one bed one bath would have been fine I would just put the litter box and cat stuff in the bathroom Actually, I would just put the litter box in there, I would put food in the kitchen. But with him being able to have his own separate room, I can just have his stuff in there, I can use that as a storage space. And it's going to be great. I'm really looking forward to it. So, I mean, I'm, I'm going to start moving stuff over there to Wichita on the 18th of July, because that's when I can actually get the apartment. I can get the keys and, and things like that, because the 23rd is a Saturday. So... I'm gonna be doing, I'm gonna be getting that stuff, and like I said, really looking forward to it. I'm gonna take a take a load over as much as I can in my little car, and probably take some cat litter and and uh, get new litter boxes when I'm over there, just so that way when when we do get everything, when we act, my dad and I actually do move stuff in, I can. We can pile everything kind of in the living room, bedroom areas, and I can lock my cat in his room with everything being set up, because I don't want to leave him in the crate all day while we're unpacking and moving. It'd be better for him. Plus, I mean, with that door being open, he does like to come outside, as you guys have kind of seen. So, and so I don't want him to escape to Wichita. At least here, there's less chance of him getting hurt. He's got all his claws, so if he did escape, he could defend himself from predators. But in Wichita, there are cars, and it's kind of a common sight to see dead cats on the side of the road, just from getting struck by the cars. So, but yeah, I, I know it's been a while since I've been on, just because there really hasn't been much going on. But uh, hopefully, I mean, hopefully this is a better video than the ones I've put out in the past just because I'm using it my my Canon uh, camera rather than my phone 
And I know that this hopefully should be a little bit easier to upload. But, yeah. Dudes, I'm, I'm really excited for this. New opportunities. And, Grant, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be making a decent bit more money. I mean, out here, before all the coaching stuff, I'm, I've been making about $41,000 a year. Which, I mean, for a single guy with not a lot of expenses, that's plenty of money. But going to moving to Wichita, I'm not coaching at all, which is going to be, that's okay with me. Uh, but I'm going to be making about $48,000 a year. So roughly 7,000 more bucks a year, which equates to pre-taxes, $4,000 a month. And that's, that's divided by 12. That's all 12 months of the year. So I'm really looking forward to it. Hopefully it'll, hopefully it'll work. Hopefully it'll work out. I mean, my family will be there. It's a lot closer for me to travel places that I want to. Like going to see my parents down in Houston. I'd have to drive to Liberal, get on a plane there, a little puddle jumper, uh, take go over, go to Denver, and then Denver to Houston. In Wichita, because they have a big enough airport, I believe that they are now flying direct Wichita to Houston. Eh, so, I mean, that'll be nice. And also, if I were to decide to drive, I wouldn't have to drive through Western Texas. Granted, I'm not a big fan of Texas anyway, but Western Texas is kind of like Western Kansas. It's boring. So, but yeah, guys, um, there's really not much going on. So this is going to be the video for the week. And, oh, and in Wichita, I'll be maybe able to do some daily videos, which that'll be cool. Just simply because I'm going to have a lot more I'm going to be doing, a lot more to see. It's going to be exciting. So, all right, guys. Don't forget, like, hit the like button, subscribe. Keep living your best lives, dude. I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, Girl Scouts.